welcome back to another video. A little update on what's been going on at Cambrian View Farm here in West Wales on our small holding. Uh, so we've, you know, we've cut down the trees. Uh, we need to dig out all the stumps, just trying to find an excavator. So there's a lot of firewood here. Uh, we have a log burner, so this line of tr stumps will all come out so we can get the LPG tank pipes in. Uh, we've got some fencing here. Can we have some new additions? Uh, we have a new addition here. So we finally got our CPH number, which is County Parish Holding Number. And we've got ourselves a little Cade lamb. This is a Black Welsh Mountain ewe lamb, a Cade lamb. So his mother had mastitis. We've called it Bambi. We got it from an auction in Landovery, along with five other sheep. One Balwyn, Balwyn ewe and a lamb, and one Black Welsh Mountain sheep and two lambs. But this little lady, farmer came into the auction, held it up, said the mother had mastitis. <clears throat> 10 pounds, so we're bottle feeding it. It's about a week old now, probably a bit, bit, bit bigger. Stop eating this. Uh, and the, the Balwyn and the lamb were 120, and the Black Welsh Mountain, the two, two lambs were uh, 250. Uh, hit the farmer kindly, farmer kindly, farmer kindly brought them to us. There you are. Hello, say hello. Is that? So we've named her Bambi for now. She's very sweet, being bottle fed. She's about four kilograms now. She's about 1.9 when we got her. Um, so yeah, very pleased. Probably got a bit carried away at the auction, as you always do, but uh, she was in need of a new home. That's our hairy dog, Cora. She's supposed to be pregnant, but we don't think she is. Anyway, we'll join us on our morning walk. So we walk around the field, goes up behind here, down here, and along here, and they get on quite well. Sheep and dog don't seem to be chasing each other too much. Bit of a playmate for Cora. So the two, the Balwen and the Black Welsh Mountain, the, Bal the Black Welsh Mountain ewe was limping. Had the vet out yesterday, uh, gave the ewe an injection, antibiotics, and an anti-inflammatory for the thing. We think it's scald a little bit there. We gave us an injection for Dectamax, I think it's called, which is for mites and mites and uh, worms, deworming. So we managed to catch the Black Welsh Mountain yesterday in Jabta. We didn't manage to catch the Balwyn. They're very, very flighty, uh, the Balwyn. So we need to catch her today, try and get her in a pen and uh, catch her and give her another injection. First time I've given an injection to animals. Uh, intramuscular, so it has to go into the, uh, the neck, which is the cheapest part of the meat, without hitting the jugular vein, or in the rump. But you tend not to put it in the rump because it's a valuable piece of meat. Anyway, they've got water and uh, given them sheep cake. Uh, it's not really like cakes, like more like pellets. Um, I say this little one, Bambi, is on formula milk for lambs and the sheep are eating water, drinking water, grass, and we've got some, well, there were some pellets in there, they've all gone. Uh, we need to try and get them trained on a bucket. So they'll come uh, when called or when we're shaking a bucket. I suppose be eating water. Go away, go away, go away. No, no, I'm supposed to be eating water. No, 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 no. And she's not really supposed to be eating, I'm supposed to be eating grass. Uh, flock down finishes on Monday, so we have hens and ducks, hens and ducks to let out. Not sure she should be drinking water. Probably should be drinking water. Uh, and then we want to get some fencing in for pigs. We had the fencing man here yesterday. Two pig pens uh, here, 30 metres wide down there. Uh, for pigs, needs to be proper, proper solid fencing for pigs because they are escape artists. I also got eye on turkeys and oh, pigs. I've got a nuke of buckfast bees on order for May and June as well for some honey. So things moving along. Things moving along pretty well. 
probably can't see it on camera, but uh, this area of West Wales, Codigan, is renowned for red kites. There is one up there. Uh, probably can't quite make it out in the camera, looking at the thermals. They're after uh, dead animals, uh, carrion feeders more than uh, live animals. So they're around, keep an eye on them. But if you want to see red kites in the wild, uh, come to Ceredigion in West Wales. Dozens of them. <laughs> and a couple of buzzards as well. Uh, we've got two lots of 50 metres of sheep netting. This is Voss farm net. It's pretty good, pretty sturdy. Uh, we're electrocuting it with, electrifying it with a battery, leisure battery and solar panel. Pretty sturdy, seems to do the job. Need to get a different earthing rod because the one I've got is too big. Uh, we've got one down here, 50 metres keeps the sheep in to some extent. Let's get tangled up on it a bit, but we can get them out of that. Uh, we caught them in this to, so the vet could see them. Uh, we've got some poultry netting on order as well. So she's finding her little spot here. You're not supposed to get tangled up in there, look. What are you doing? A big lump. Go on, come and play. So I hope you enjoy it. Thanks ever so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.